Optical illusions are a fascinating way to explore the inner workings of our brains. Our brains use various cues to interpret the world around us. However, sometimes our brains can be tricked into misinterpreting these cues, leading to the creation of optical illusions. In this video, we will explore some of the most interesting and mind-bending optical illusions, and discover how they work. 10. Size Constancy our brains have a remarkable ability to interpret the size of objects based on their distance from us. When we look at an object, our brains calculate its size and distance by using cues such as perspective, relative size, and shading. This process is called size constancy, and it's what allows us to perceive objects as being the same size, even if they appear smaller or larger due to their distance from us. However, sometimes our brains can be tricked into misinterpreting the size of objects, one example of this is the Ames Room illusion. An Ames Room is a specially constructed room that appears to be perfectly rectangular, but it's actually built with trapezoidal walls and a tilted floor. The result is an optical illusion that makes objects in the room appear to be different sizes than they actually are. When you look into an Ames Room, you see two people standing at opposite ends. One person appears to be much larger than the other, even though they're actually the same size. This is because the room's trapezoidal shape creates an illusion of depth that tricks our brains into misinterpreting the size of the objects. 9. Contrast Our brains use contrast to help us perceive edges and boundaries in our visual field. When an area of light is next to an area of dark, our brains create an illusion of a border between the two. However, this can sometimes lead to misinterpretations of light and dark areas, resulting in optical illusions like the mock band. The Mach band illusion is a series of light and dark bands that appear on a gradient background. The light and dark areas on the bands are actually the same shade, but they appear to be slightly different because of the contrast created by the gradient background. Our brains interpret this contrast as a border, which creates the illusion of the Mach bands. Another example of contrast in optical illusions is the checker shadow illusion. In this illusion, two squares of different shades of gray are placed on a checkerboard. However, the square in the shadow appears to be much darker than the square in the light. This is because our brains use contrast to adjust for lighting conditions, and the darker square in the shadow appears lighter than it actually is. A. Color Perception Our brains use color to identify objects and differentiate them from their backgrounds. When we look at an image, our eyes detect different wavelengths of light and send signals to the brain, which interprets them as colors. However, sometimes our brains can be fooled by the way colors are presented, leading to optical illusions. One example of this is the Munker White illusion. In this illusion, two identical colors appear different when they are overlaid by stripes of different colors. For example, a gray square looks lighter when it is covered by white stripes than when it is covered by black stripes. This happens because our brain adjusts the color of the square based on the contrast with the stripes. Another example of color perception creating illusions is the Benham's top illusion. In this illusion, a black and white spinning top appears to be filled with colors. This is because the brain perceives the rapid changes in contrast between the black and white lines as color, even though no color is actually present. 7. Motion Perception Our brains use motion cues to determine how objects are moving in relation to each other. For example, when we see a car driving down the street, our brains use motion cues to track its movement and determine its speed and direction. However, sometimes our brains can be tricked into misinterpreting motion, leading to optical illusions. One example of an optical illusion related to motion perception is the motion after effect illusion. This illusion occurs when we stare at a moving pattern for an extended period of time and then look at a stationary object. The stationary object appears to be moving in the opposite direction of the original pattern. This phenomenon occurs because our brain's motion detection neurons become fatigued after looking at a pattern moving in one direction for an extended period of time. When we shift our gaze to a stationary object, these neurons continue to fire, causing the illusion of movement in the opposite direction. 6. Depth Perception Depth perception is a complex process that involves several visual cues, including perspective, shading, and overlap. These cues help our brains calculate the distance between objects and create a sense of depth in our visual field. One of the most famous optical illusions that exploits our depth perception is the Ponzo illusion. In the Ponzo illusion, two lines are drawn across a converging background, giving the impression of a railway track. Our brains interpret the lines as being farther away at the top of the illusion, 
and closer at the bottom. As a result, the top line appears longer than the bottom line, even though they're actually the same length. Another optical illusion that exploits depth perception is the Mueller-Lyer illusion. In this illusion, two lines of equal length are presented with arrow-like extensions pointing in opposite directions. Our brains interpret the line with outward-pointing arrows as being farther away, and the line with inward-pointing arrows as being closer. As a result, the line with outward-pointing arrows appears longer than the line with inward-pointing arrows, even though they're actually the same. 5. Visual Grouping Our brains have a remarkable ability to group together objects based on their visual similarities. When we look at a complex scene, our brains automatically sort objects into groups based on their color, shape, and orientation. This process is called visual grouping, and it helps us make sense of the world around us. However, sometimes our brains can be tricked into perceiving visual groups where none exist. One example of this is the Knizza triangle illusion. In this illusion, four Pac-Man-like shapes are arranged so that their openings face each other, creating the illusion of a white triangle in the center. Even though there is no physical triangle present, our brains perceive it as a complete object. This happens because our brains use context and closure to fill in missing information. The white triangle that we perceive is actually created by our brains filling in the gaps between the Pac-Man shapes. Our brains group the shapes together based on their similarity and create a new object out of them. 4. Binocular Vision Our eyes are located on the front of our face, giving us binocular vision, or the ability to see with both eyes. This allows us to perceive depth and distance in our environment by using the slight differences in perspective between our two eyes. When we look at an object, each eye sees it from a slightly different angle, and our brains combine these two images to create a three-dimensional image. However, sometimes our brains can be tricked into misinterpreting these perspective differences. One example of this is the Necker cube illusion. When you look at the Necker cube, a simple cube drawing, you may notice that the cube appears to flip between two different perspectives, even though the image remains the same. This is because the cube's orientation is ambiguous, and our brains can't decide which perspective to interpret as the correct one. Our brains are constantly interpreting the visual information from our eyes. But when an image is ambiguous, like in the Necker cube illusion, our brains can't rely on just one perspective. This leads to a phenomenon known as multi-stable perception, where our brains alternate between different interpretations of the same image. 3. Peripheral Vision Our brains use peripheral vision to sense motion and changes in our environment. This type of vision is what allows us to detect things moving in our periphery, even if we're not looking directly at them. However, sometimes our brains can be tricked into perceiving motion where there is none. This is where the peripheral drift illusion comes in. The peripheral drift illusion is a type of optical illusion that makes patterns appear to be moving, even though they're not. It works by using repetitive patterns that create the illusion of motion as we scan across the image with our eyes. This illusion is created because the brain relies on feedback from our eyes' movement to create our perception of motion. When we look at an image that uses the peripheral drift illusion, our eyes scan across the repeating patterns, causing the illusion of motion. The effect is strongest when the image contains high contrast patterns with sharp edges. 2. Contextual Clues Our brains are constantly interpreting the visual information we receive from our surroundings. When we encounter ambiguous information, our brains use contextual clues to help us make sense of it. Contextual clues are pieces of information that provide a context for the ambiguous information and help us to interpret it correctly. One famous example of contextual clues in action is the duck-rabbit illusion. In this illusion, an image can be perceived as either a duck or a rabbit, depending on how you interpret the lines and shapes in the image. However, once you've seen the image as one animal, it can be difficult to switch to seeing it as the other. The reason for this is that our brains use contextual clues to help us interpret the image as one animal or the other. For example, if we see a beak, we're more likely to interpret the image as a duck. If we see long ears, we're more likely to interpret the image as a rabbit. Once our brains have made the initial interpretation, it becomes difficult to switch because we're primed to see the image in a certain way. 1. Attentional Focus Attentional focus refers to the ability of our brains to selectively focus on certain information while ignoring others. Our brains are constantly bombarded with sensory information, and to prevent overload, we prioritize certain stimuli over others. This process is essential for survival, as it allows us to quickly identify and respond to relevant information, such as the sound of a predator or the smell of food.
However, attentional focus can also lead to optical illusions. For example, have you ever watched a video where you're asked to count the number of times a basketball is passed between players, while you're focused on counting the passes? You might not notice a person in a gorilla suit walking through the scene. This is an example of a selective attention illusion, where our brains are so focused on a specific task that we fail to notice other information in our visual field. In another example of an attentional focus illusion, an image is shown with a hidden object embedded within it, and the viewer is asked to find the hidden object. However, the object is so well hidden that some viewers fail to see it, even though it's right in front of them.